Gege Akutami has finally revealed in the latest 156th chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen Kirada's Curse Technique Love Rendezvous. But some of you still seemed a bit lost as to how it works, so let's break it down in simpler terms. Don't forget to subscribe. Now, Love Rendezvous divides and allocates 5 star markings with the Southern Cross constellation to target curse energy. The 5 stars are named Mimosa, Akros, Jinan, Imai, and Gakrot. For one star to approach another star, it must follow the determined order, or one of the targets with the same name star as another will attract it. Which explains why the car in chapter 156 was attracted to Panda because Kidada marked the car as the same Imai star marking as him. Even if Panda were to toss the car away, it will immediately attract back towards him. The order of the stars follows from nearest to furthest. Because each star is a different distance from the earth, whoever Kidada marks, that individual must go through that order. In chapter 156, Kidada marked Megumi with the Acrux marking, so he must pass through Mimosa and then Jinan, the parking curb and Kidada accordingly, to reach Gakrux, the door. If we look at another example, if Panda were to touch the door, he must first reach Megumi, then the parking curb, and finally Kidada in that particular order. Further additional notes about Kidada's technique is that it doesn't need to touch the opponent just to curse energy itself. That explains why Kidada's technique work on Megumi because she slash he marked Megumi's curse energy through the divine dog. Kidada's curse technique, once it marks an object, whichever constellation name is marked on that specific curse energy, another cannot be placed. And finally, Kidada can remove the star marking she slash he places on herself slash himself to mark objects with other star markings to throw against the opponent. Hopefully, Kidada's love rendezvous is easier to understand after watching this, 